we would like to plant a church at every major campus in the Midwest until it's done. And even beyond the Midwest, that student ministries like Salt Company would exist to the furthest ends of the earth. You know, for decades, the best and brightest of the next generation have come to this valley. And far too many leave this valley utterly spiritually thirsty and empty. We are not content to see another generation miss out on the living water. The life Jesus gives, it's so great. It is so overwhelming, overflowing. It can't be contained with us. It has to overflow through us. It has to be shared. Most of you in this room have more freedom than you've ever had in your entire life. You're charting the course for your life, becoming the person you're gonna be for the rest of your life. And here's the question tonight. Is God gonna be a part of it? And tonight, God is on the edge of his seat and he's willing and he's able to give you forgiveness and the good guidance that your soul has always longed for. Come home. What God wants us to do as a church community is to see ourselves rightly before Him. He wants us to see that God is in a category by Himself, that He is holy, that He is righteous, that He is perfect. This will produce a kind of humility that the world looks at and they stand absolutely amazed. Some of you have tried your entire life to be impressive, to put on the show so that the people around you will think that you're good. And, and the most important part about college is not what your friends think of you, it's what he thinks of you. Salt Company is not a place for perfect people because Jesus is the only perfect person. It's about a God who is impressive for you, which means that you're never too far gone from him. He sees you in the deepest junk of your life, those moments where even you don't like you, and he doesn't turn away in disgust. He just loves. You're worth everything to him, not because of what you can or can't give him, but simply because he loves you.